comparing Melania Trump's speech at the Republican convention in 2016 and Michelle Obama's speech at the Democratic convention in 2008. My elegant and hardworking mother, Amalia, introduced me to fashion and beauty. My father, Victor, installed in me a passion for business and travel. Their integrity, compassion, and intelligence reflects to this day on me and for my love of family and America. Raised on the south side of Chicago by a father who was a blue-collar city worker and a mother who stayed at home with my brother and me. My mother's love has always been a sustaining force for our family. And one of my greatest joys is seeing her integrity, her compassion, her intelligence reflected in my daughters. From a young age, my parents impressed on me the values that you work hard for what you want in life, that your word is your bond, and you do what you say and keep your promise, that you treat people with respect. They thought and showed me values and morals in their daily life. That is a lesson that I continue to pass along to our son. And we need to pass those lessons on to the many generations to follow. Because, because we want our children in this nation to know that the only limit to your achievements is the strength of your dreams and your willingness to work for them. And Barack and I were raised with so many of the same values. Like, you work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond, that you do what you say you're gonna do. That you treat people with dignity and respect, even if you don't know them, and even if you don't agree with them. And Barack and I set out to build lives guided by these values and to pass them on to the next generation because we want our children and all children in this nation to know that the only limit to the height of your achievements is the reach of your dreams and your willingness to work hard for them. Yet it certainly is limiting to have my efforts at journalism financially sabotaged. My most recent video showing the goon trying to grab a sign out of a woman's hand hasn't been monetized for most of the time of the last five days, meaning I make nothing. So there's a link in the video description if you want to help out. And you'll find the link to the New York Times article that highlights these allegations of plagiarism and the link to the Twitter account of the journalist who first noticed it. And please sign the petition that I've mentioned in previous videos because there's an underhanded policy that's having the effect of just destroying independent journalism. If you financially cripple journalists, you're undermining journalism. Click here to see my most recent video with the goon, which is finally monetized four or five days later after being under review the minute it was uploaded, then cleared, then under review, then cleared, then under review, over and over again. Someone is playing games with my channel. So like I said, see the links in the video description and see these other videos where you can see Hillary Clinton is a liar and that Trump is a liar too.